I made a parting tool out of an old small file. I don't think it's much more than a sixteenth. Three thirty seconds. It doesn't heat up much when you're grinding off the file's teeth. This is making contact with so such a small amount of steel, but still I dunked it in water frequently. Not frequently enough at the tip. Um, I have an old handle I took from a skew because I wanted a longer handle on the skew. Got a center punch starter hole here. Tang it as file is a quarter inch about here, wider up here, but I want this to fit tight. So I'm drilling a quarter inch hole and I'll fill it with epoxy. And that is centered. Need to go down to about here, I think. Yeah, one finger's width. It's not very sharp. And the wood is very hard. I really should turn this down to accept a ferrule. Ferrule? I think I have one left. Maybe I don't. Still, I'd like to turn that down some. Pretty close. can find a ferrule. What I'll do is just uh, straighten this out some and I think I'll whip it with uh, the way you do a rope end but with the epoxy. 1850 That. You may have noticed I'm not entirely comfortable with a skew, but I'm using it more and gaining confidence as I do. There I go, leaving the key in the chuck again. It was mighty hard, I'm not sure what it is. But it came as a skew handle from uh, Works, W E R K S. So whatever they use, that's what this is.
epoxy time. First, do I want to uh, enlarge this any? The wood is so hard, I'm afraid it will split if I try to drive the tool into it. I do. I might want it just a little bit larger than a quarter of an inch in there just a little ways. Uh, I don't want to risk splitting it out by hammering that in. Okay, let's hang down here. 5 sixteenths, quarter to there, so about 3 eighths of an inch in. I think this is a sixteenth inch per turn. Or three turns to the quarter of an inch. What was that in uh, millis? Okay, two millimeters per turn. So five turns. One, two, three, four, five. Two millimeters per turn. Got to remember that. It's cool in my shop, and the resin and the hardener do not flow easily. Yeah, that's probably enough. That looks about the same. I don't put in a big bunch all at once because it would trap air and wouldn't flow to the bottom. I threw away the end of the stick and sharpened what was left so I could get the rest of the epoxy. I think that's full. It's five minute epoxy and I haven't been keeping track of time. I wonder if I have enough time to get this wrapped without having to make another batch. I wanted to do the whipping into epoxy and this was getting mighty close to setting up. I had a brilliant idea for doing the wrap. This is 80 pound test braided fishing line. The epoxy is setting up fast, but not fast enough. I can't do this, it's running out. Okay, see if I can do this this way. I don't think so. Give that a few minutes to set up so I can turn this on its side to wrap. The epoxy was still sticky enough to make getting an even wrap impossible. Okay, 
I just hope <laughs> I can pull the loop through. Cut and scrape this off and start over. Tough line, dull blade. Well, that's a pretty, pretty sloppy job with that uh, gelling epoxy. It wouldn't let me do much more. That, anyway. I got a whip ferrule on here. Do these again. Maybe I'll do another one over the top of this. Not right now. This is still pretty gummy. I should have let this set up hard and put on a new batch to wrap into. I left it then to work outside in a rare dose of sunshine. The next day I dry whipped it and then soaked it in CA glue for a solid finish. Well here it is finished. Put it in the vise, whipped it again and then soaked it down with uh, Starbond CA glue, medium thin I think. And because I didn't rotate it while I was whipping it, I ended up with this. <laughs> I didn't notice until it was too late. Um, but that's all right, it's functional. The file itself, you can still see that it's a file, but it's smooth. As smooth as the ways of the lathe. I do need a little bit of smoothing work here. It feels a little rough on the tool rest. Uh, I ground the point on a stone wheel and grind just for a few seconds and dip in water, but even so it got discolored a little bit, but not enough to lose temper, I think. Then I touched it up on the CBN wheel and perfectly serviceable narrow parting tool. And it was fun to do. That's the main thing.